Hi, Finley. Hello, Teresa. <laughs> Mm. In this interview, I'm going to ask you some questions, mm -hmm. which you may or may not answer to. Yeah. And uh, you've been here for two weeks, have residency with us at Art Ocean Gallery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, do you want to tell me something about that? Your experience, your work, you've done some work here too? Yeah. Um, so, uh, maybe before I came, I had the plan to come and spend two weeks designing, uh, designing for a book that I read last year, and I was very in my mind, okay, this will be two solid weeks, I'm going to spend maybe eight hours a day in the studio, just bang, 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 drawing up this book. Um, and pretty much within two hours of getting here, yeah. I decided <laughs> to <laughs> completely dispose of that idea yeah. altogether, um, which was surprising. Um, and that was because of just being quite overwhelmed from the beginning about the landscape and wanting to explore that and thinking I'm not going to be able to do be in both minds and I want to just explore completely what's here and respond from that. Mm. So from the very beginning it caught, caught me off guard because I was so set in a way and a mindset from London of produce get a result, do that, then come home, you know, no, yeah. Sit the light. Yeah. Um, so it was very, very different from the beginning. And then I went through a process of just having to listen more and more to that feeling of giving up whatever I thought I was going to do. Um, which was pretty crazy um, and I spent the two weeks exploring the forests and the ocean and writing quite a lot about that and just relaxing and letting go which I hadn't intended really to do. Hmm. Um, yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of what happened, and a lot opened up in that time. Of course, there was times when the days felt really quite difficult because I felt I maybe hadn't had the direction thing that I was clinging on to of before, and I was just really letting go and not putting any pressure on myself and re and going with how I was feeling very much. Which is quite brave, I think. Yeah. Really. It, yes, it <laughs> is. Because yeah. it takes something of you to come to that mm. uh, allowance of, okay, I'm going to drop everything that I was thinking and go out to unknown territory. Yeah. That's brave. Yeah. Yeah. And that it, it's hard <laughs> as well, you know, it's not easy. But... I, I, for, since then, in the last two weeks, looking at myself now, I feel so much more confident and positive about, one, about creating in general and freeing up and what it actually means to do that, um, which maybe I didn't give myself the space for before mm. in education and being in London is a very different climate for that and pressure um so you know to finally reach a place where i could just respond to literally whatever i was thinking about and feeling it was so refreshing mm. and not thinking and thinking well if i don't get anything i like from it you know then it's fine because the feeling is the most important thing mm. and that's mad <laughs> <laughs> for me at least that's 
mad, you know? Yeah. Um, and kind of feels quite rebellious as well, you know? Because when you came here, you carried the question, like, but what's my view? Where's mm. my way? Yeah. So you kind of, you had the mindset, as you said, but you also carried this strong question, I remember mm. we talked about in the beginning, like, but where, what's my way? I want to do this on my, my terms. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Find my way. Yeah. And it's given me the first. I guess introduction to that you know and this is just to continue it now so a lot's happened in two weeks <laughs> yeah you know? um yeah a lot has happened in two weeks and um, just really from listening to myself which the place has given me that space for you know of course in the just the physical you know having a studio space is one massive thing mm -hmm. But also just the the, the space um, to myself and to op openly talk with you and Stefan, who are like-minded people, has put me in a. It's just built my confidence and reassurance that there are other people thinking <laughs> and wanting. Of course, there are other people in the world thinking the same thing. You know. Uh, it's, yeah, just really reassuring in that sense. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> very nice to have followed this journey. We're also we're gonna keep some secrets in this interview, mm. but we have. We I'm very confident that we will meet again. Yeah, I know that and. Uh, that's the secret <laughs> <laughs> and also we have done some fun collaboration yeah we have which um, yeah, over the last few days we've collaborated together um, so to reach a point within only two weeks that you can go out and make up with someone else mm. is, is you know says something I think about your trust and um, just the natural response which is great and I created a performance when I was here yes um, which came from initially the very initial thinking about this was in the first few conversations that we had all together Stefan had mentioned, he'd said the words, um, he's talking about the outdoor world in relation to the artistic process, and said that nature doesn't want you to do anything. And these words kept going around in my head as I was walking around thinking, what am I going to make whilst I'm here? And all, all the time was, nature doesn't want you to do anything. And so I turned to nature and asked, okay, you know, what does that mean? Um, what does that mean? And, and then started opening up the fact that the natural world keeps going on without the human. You know, that it's not, that it doesn't give a crap really about us. <laughs> you know, that it would just keep, it will keep going. Yeah. Which I really liked that idea of feeling quite little, and then um, over over you know experimenting wanted to become more a part of that world, to be kind of swallowed by nature, mm. um, and that resulted in loads of different ways but the one aspect was the performance with the lichens so I, I started to get really inspired by the lichens around because they are everywhere here and they're a magnificent colour and through research I found out that they cover, they make up 10% of the world's covering oh. of the surface which is quite a big amount yeah um, and so I started manipulating these lichens and creating costumes where 
I could then become covered myself in the lichens like the world. Um, and, and then it resulted in a performance of me in this costume reading my dialogue with Mother Nature. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember it. Very yeah. <laughs> it was very nice. Yeah. To be the yeah. audience. Yeah.